Okay, Shirley, and take the cube. Hold it out so I can see the black trap. That way, when I do the test picture and we bring it back to the studio, to get it back on the monitor, we'll get great color management. All right, now we're back to the studio. We're gonna open up our Spider 3 studio and we're gonna calibrate our monitor. Here we go. So we take our uh, Spider 3 and we place it in this cool spot right here. Spider 3 is now calibrating the RGB scale on our computer monitor. It's important to calibrate my monitor because the colors will represent the true colors of the photograph that I shot. Now that our monitor is calibrated, let's take a look at our pictures. We want to find that shot that has the cube. And here it is. So what we'll do is we'll take that picture, put it into Photoshop, zoom in on the cube. Okay, take our eyedropper and take a grayscale. The uh, cube is great also for specular highlights and for making sure that your blacks are not too black because of this great uh, black trap. All right, great. So what we'll do is we will uh, save this as a preset. And now what we need to do is find the image that we want to print. Okay. And I think this is the image that we want. Put that into Photoshop. Okay, great. And what we do is we just go to that preset. We apply it and it's gonna make that image exactly the way we want. So we did a test print earlier today and I'm really not happy with the colors. So now we have to calibrate our printer. So we printed out a color chart here and it's just really easy to calibrate your printer. Just goes right across here, just like that. All right, so we open up this raw image. And now we have an image in Photoshop that we can adjust further if we want to, or we can print just the way it is. And I'm thinking that it looks pretty good. So I think we're just gonna go right into the print. All right, let's check it out. Print's done, and I can see already it looks great. It uh, looks so much better than this other print that I made earlier today as a test print. And now I know that my printer's calibrated, my monitor's calibrated, and my workflow is calibrated.